Hello and welcome back. When I last left you, I said I was going to uh, leave a little waypoint at those pyramids that we just teleported away from. Uh, mainly because they had more loot than I could carry. Yeah, I'm really raking in the dough here. I mean, look at that. You don't find a block of emerald every day now. Well, unless you're me. <laughs> okay, let's go back and we will loot some more from the pyramids. Obsidian, gold, gold. Now these are uh, special items added by the fossils in archaeology mod, which I fully do plan to restore now. Restore! Using their uh, pottery system that they've developed. Oh my goodness! Look at all that! Pottery shards. Gold, gold ingots, gold nuggets. Yeah, whoever owned this temple was rich. Well, they probably didn't actually own this temple, but whoever designed it was very generous. <laughs> hmm. Let's take another look around out here. Maybe we're missing something. Ooh, wait. Is that another temple? I think it may be another temple. It is another temple. Geez, where were all these temples earlier? I suppose I couldn't see them too well. Yep, different te- <laughs> Okay, now I think you're getting a little bit overzealous with all these javelins here, game. Let's- Okay, so now you're giving me iron and gold javelins, hmm? get the feeling this may be some form of appeasement. Please stop raiding all of our temples, Mr. Moretti. We're just so cold and sad. Well, that's too bad. Your temples needed raiding. Yes. Look at this gold and emerald. Emeralds may be bloody useless in almost every sense of the word when it comes to anything but trading with villagers, but they're good sources of EMC. The best part is, there is no negative consequences to me taking them. At least, I'm a it, Hey, this could be very useful if I ever want to make an aquatic dinosaur. Or, have a place to put um, some hippocampi. You would honestly be surprised how rare it is that someone will find, uh, you know, a place like this. Honestly, because it is very rare that Minecraft makes lagoons. It's not extremely common. Is that... These underwater... Uh, I think they are. Yep. Yep, they are. Oh my god, what the hell is happening? What is... What is going on? What the hell is that? Oh, sirens! Sirens, I'm being pulled towards a rock by sirens! Ah, yes makes sense. Mermaids. Mermaids are trying to kill me. Well, that's magical. Okay, is, is my vision never going to return to normal like this now? Is this my life? Eh, whatever. Huh. So, it appears that this is just an excavation site that's underwater. Apparently the sirens, um, sirens don't work very well above the water. 
because I can fly. Oh look, it's an ammonite. These are pretty cool. Hmm. There are just sirens every... Okay, finally, I'm out of their reach. That's good. Okay, out of their reach. I'll have to remember that next time I go near the water. What's this? This doesn't look normal. Or maybe it doesn't. I'm just weird. It's, it's weird. <laughs> Hmm. You know what? Seeing as how we now have the unfounded ability of free flight wherever we want a powerful uh, blade, I think the next step should be looking for an ice dragon skeleton. Let's loot it. Uh. Actually, I think we may want to teleport back before we try looting it. Otherwise, we run the risk of wasting precious resources. Hmm. Yes, I believe we should uh, teleport back. Let's teleport home. Now I know a whole bunch of you may be complaining, and this is mainly Charlie, about how often I'm using the teleportation feature. And that is because I'm not stupid. Honestly, you give me the ability to freely teleport around the map with no consequences, and you expect me to stay where I am and have to walk? No, the ability to flight lets me explore. The ability to teleport lets me easily return. Actually, hold on. Gotta do this by hand. Okay, so that was a stage two ice dragon skeleton. Hmm. You know, if we... Ow. But as I was saying, if we look around long enough, we will potentially find an ice dragon around here. Either that, or an ice village. Where we can get some unique villager stuff from the Ice and Fire mod. Which I must say is a really cool mod. For legal reasons. I don't want to give you the details. Because you aren't worth it. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They aren't paying me to do anything, and I'm not being sued or nothing. No, I, I really like the work that they've done. Now, I do have one tiny caveat when I say that. I don't really like how the dragons are so extremely big, especially when full-grown. Because, you know, I don't have a monster computer. Many of you who have watched me and Charlie play for a while... Uh, know this. It, it is not a monster. It is far from a monster, in fact. Um, I, I really don't like it when I can't even fly the goddamn dragon because of how huge it is. I mean, if it's that big and ungainly and it will destroy anything it gets near, it, it's really not worth owning. Just simply because of that, that fact. Yeah, so, seeing as how I'm not seeing a whole lot around us right now, I think the best thing we could do at this time is see about either tackling the Aether or the Magical Fo uh, or the Twilight Forest. And I believe Twilight Forest would be in a better direction for us right now because we can now fly freely. Um, but firstly, I think we need to go home and manage our crops first. Because our crops uh, are looking kind of skimpy at this time. Or rather, excuse me, our provisions. 
Our provisions are looking kind of skimpy. Hmm. So, uh, let's put some of this stuff away. And then we can go and, uh, check on our crops. I know we have a hole around here, and I don't mean the kind that, uh, you people who watch us go out looking for. Just what I needed. <laughs> Let's see here. Do I just not have a hoe anymore? Did did something happen to my hoe that I'm not aware of here? I I, I honestly have no idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one. And you know what? Since actually, you know what? It, it'd probably be easier just to make a normal diamond hoe because. I really don't feel like doing anything else with Tinker's Construct at the moment. I'm, I'm not going to feel like doing something later, but, you know. So let me just make a hole real quick. Boop. 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 There we go. Diamond top. Goody. Okay. So. Let's make sure that all of our animals are still... Yep, chickens, pigs, rabbits, sheep, cows, horses. Yep. Can't even ride the horses yet, because, you know, <laughs> don't feel like making golden carrots every ten seconds. Uh, first, let's just get these uh, melons. You know, this reminds me of that Austin Powers movie. The way that they... Um, you know, would always just sort of, uh, at that scene at the end here, when they were launching a large satellite, and they were describing what it was shaped like. The, fir the first movie, it was shaped like a Johnson, and in the second movie, it was shaped like boobs. Well, the fun thing is they would always skip to the next person who's noticing it, who's using the euphemism that matches it. And I always thought that was just funny. Now, it may be bathroom humor, sure, but it was hilarious to watch because it just takes some excellent editing and timing to do that. And I feel that not a lot of people really understand the value of well-placed editing. You know what? I just completely forgot you can right-click these crops to harvest them and leave them in the ground so that they can regrow. So now I'm just like, wait, why did I just break the potatoes down to stage one of growth again? You know, if I can just do this with the beetroots. Yeah, because the villagers can't break anything, but I know they can harvest. Oh, for those of you who didn't know, I went on a wonderful vacation to Hawaii. And I must say, it's really quite nice there. But, if any of you ever go to Hawaii, which I doubt because you're watching our YouTube videos, <laughs> um, I would recommend one piece of advice to you. Just one. Uh, well, two, actually. First one is... Never skimp on your airplane tickets. That's that's a terrible idea. You will regret it later. Uh, second is do not, under any circumstances, do not, under any circumstances, um, try to take anything with you there. Seriously, it, it's, it's just, just a bad, goofy-ass idea. Do not take...
pets do not take babies, please. Because we all know you're going to fly there. It's, it's very obvious that you're going to fly there. You have no patience. We, we know you have no patience. So just do the world a favor. If you're going to go over there, please do not fly. That's, it, that's all I ask, please. Don't. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. You're, you're just going to make yourself and everyone else around you angry because we all know that flight is, you know, like, oh, well, you got to fly to get over there. You know, just, well, well, you know, that's the thing. Don't. Just don't. It's bad. Bad for me. Bad for you. Bad for everybody involved. Just don't do it, man. Don't do it. Now, we may do something with that block of emeralds outside. But, for right now, I'm satisfied enough with what we have. So, I'm going to cut it here, and next time we're going to be in the Twilight Forest and see about conquering that dungeon. See you all next time. Bye.